resembling something you might recognise from the 1980s. I, the ITV's political editor appeared on the front page of yesterday's Times magazine dressed in a very pink suit. You can see that on air there looking dead cool in a sort of hot pink suit, white t-shirt and some epic sunglasses. Which has just got me thinking about fashion amongst politicos. Um, so all too often you see the House of Commons chamber and it's full of sort of blokes in black, grey and navy suits. And you see the occasional pop of colour from time to time. Um, but Arlene, I'm curious to come to you on this one because I think to some extent we as women, we have a slightly harder job on this. And I think you've got a great story there about uh, yourself and Nicola Sturgeon sharing fashion choices. Well, uh, that was quite a funny incident, actually, because she and I obviously shop in, in the same uh, um, place and uh, we appeared in very similar, probably the same outfits. And that set the journalists quite mad. Uh, and uh, I think Nicola's response to it was, goodness, there are so many men here in similar suits. This is a real shock. Uh, you know, women do have to try and stand out in politics. And I'm delighted to see your pink jacket today, Diana. It's very fetching. Uh, I didn't think you'd be following Robert Peston, but there you go. Um, it's important that we do have our own individual styles. I think probably in politics in the House of Commons, a bit like if you were a young solicitor in court, everybody wears a black suit, everybody wears a white shirt, but that's changing. And you can very much see that in the House of Commons now and the individual styles are coming out. I think what's important is that we show respect for the institution mm -hmm. um, and whatever you wear, that that respect is reflected in what you have to wear. I think that's exactly right. And on the point about me following Robert Peston, I would point out I had a bright pink suit when I first got elected <laughs> into the House of Commons. I know. I wore it for my that. first ever Prime Minister's question. So, Robert, thank you for accepting my fashion tips. But I think it's an interesting point there that the media focus was on the two of you wearing the same outfits and not necessarily on the actual politics that was being discussed. And as you rightly said, the same wouldn't happen if two blokes showed up in a navy suit, white shirt and a blue tie. Paul, do you give fashion much thought when you're getting ready to do interviews or sort of make appearances? Is, is it something at the forefront of your mind? I'm quite disappointed you even need to ask the question, Deanna. Um, no, in, in truth, um, I, I do, but I don't obsess about it. I mean, I've always, been, um, I've always been a great believer that people should be free to wear what they want. Um, although when I saw the picture of Robert Peston, it did make me think again about that, to be perfectly honest, because that was pretty... Um, it was a pretty horrendous outfit he wore. But um, I agree with Arlene. At, at the same time, you know, as you want to give people the freedom to wear what they want, if they've got a particular job and they're representing a particular institution like the House of Commons, they're working in there, um, then I do think it's reasonable to expect them to dress in a, a you know, modest and respectable way, let's say. Well, I think that's exactly right. So maybe you can tweet us and let us know what you thought of uh, Robert Peston's suit and whether you think he should be wearing that for his show. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favourite shows and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.